combo is probably one of the most uncomfortable experiences you can have. Imagine, you know, like 10 of the worst hangovers you've ever had in a span of 20 minutes. That intensity all together is what you feel. I didn't care what I looked like. I didn't care what I sound like. I didn't care that anyone else was around. I was just like in that bucket. Am I done yet? Women are biohackers by nature. We're Lauren and Katie. We're taking a look at the wildest health hacks, wellness treatments, and the most cutting edge biotechnologies. We're taking you inside and unlocking the secrets only women could. This is Biohackers. For centuries, indigenous Amazonians have extracted frog poison for alleged healing powers. Combo ceremonies are believed to detox the body through 20 minutes of flu-like purging. Today we're meeting with Todd Shipman, a shaman trained biohacking expert who is going to facilitate a combo ceremony with a scientific twist. This might be our most extreme biohacking experience yet, but is the bile worth the benefit? Uh, nice to meet you. I was not looking forward to the frog poison episode, one, because I don't want to throw up, but I like wanted to go in with an open mind. Tell us what we're doing today. Well, we're going to do combo. And combo is the secretion or sweat from this Amazonian frog called the giant monkey tree frog. It's usually poisonous to other animals, but it's gonna make you throw up and it's very extreme feeling initially for about the first 15, 25 minutes. The experience can be very overwhelming. I think it's very important that people know exactly what they're getting into. When you purge, it can come through bowel movements and orally. It's 15 to 25 minutes of extreme discomfort for long-term benefits. Extreme after. discomfort? Yes. Combo is an intense experience, it's not for everyone. Like scale of one to 10 discomfort. Um, it's a nine or a 10. Combo has a very incredible like cleansing and detoxing effects that can help chronic disease, autoimmune, anxiety, depression. You will purge out a lot of mold, candida, parasites. We hmm. see a lot of that. Better out than in. <laughs> After we met, we went inside and we discussed exactly what to expect. Is there any psychoactive property? Like, am I gonna feel high? It's non-psychoactive. You are 100% in control of your mind and body the entire time. So how is the secretion administered? Combo is administered topically through burn marks on the skin. It is done in the Amazon with a big thick vine and they burn it and they stick it on you. Here what we use is a smaller piece of incense and I'm taking the first layer of skin off of you. Mm -hmm. When the combo goes onto your skin, the bioactive peptides go in your system. It is poisonous. It just happens to be that for mammals, there are hundreds of bioactive peptides that are beneficial for us. You have certain ones that will acutely increase the heart rate. So you'll get really hot and then the peptides that kick in will be for vasoconstriction and you go really pale. And that's also when the extreme nausea kicks in. Todd's really amazing because he was trained by shamans. So he has the traditions and he's very respectful of that, but he's really rooting this practice and this medicine and science. So we also have you wearing these Apple watches and it's gonna be able to monitor your heart rate in mm -hmm. real time. So we're gonna be checking your glucose levels. The vitals are a great way to quantify the biological shifts that they have through combo. So we do it before and then after as well. So, so this is a baseline check? Yes, it's a baseline check. Going through the combo experience, their blood sugar levels will rise. And then at the end, it lowers because it is somewhat of a physical exercise. When you do combo, you want to fast for anywhere from six to eight hours. So I actually didn't do the true fast. I had celery juice, I had a little bit of coffee. There's a high chance that it's going to come back up. So the acidity of coffee or celery juice could be what, what comes up. All right. It is strictly just so you don't have a solid piece of food in your stomach as you purge up. Oh, are we doing it at the same time? I do recommend and see there are a lot of the benefits of doing it together. It is a very vulnerable, sensitive, and intimate experience. There was that side of it, like, you know, is she gonna puke on me? Am I gonna puke on her? Am I gonna poop my pants? Like all of that. There can be physical releases as well as emotional releases. And it's a wonderful opportunity for people to bond. She's like family by now, so if I'm gonna poop or puke on anyone, it's gonna be her. Do it together, together, right? Why not? Sounds intense. Yeah. Todd took us outside and there was a little setup. We were supposed to do the ceremony. It was kind of this funny juxtaposition because it was supposed to look cozy and spiritual, but then also there were these very obvious white throw up buckets that were a little intimidating. So I definitely had mixed emotions sitting down for it. So we went into the ceremony. We started with some breath work. Let's go and begin with an inhale through the nose, just nice and slow to kind of calm the mind and stop any anxious thoughts that are going on and then hold your breath. We allow for some time for some internal uh, intentions and goal setting. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. So next what we'll do is the hoppe. Similar to a tobacco product, but it's in the form of a powder. Here we 
go. It's essentially shot into your nose through a little pipe. The hape was really interesting. I've had it done before and it immediately gives you this buzz, takes you out of your head and into your body. The hot paint burned my nostril a lot and then also burned my throat going down, so. I like that one. Pretty smooth, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's really smooth. <laughs> Actually gives you like a crazy jolt, changes your state to prepare you for the combo. After the hot bay is when we burn the gates and we use a little piece of incense and we're just taking off the very first layer of the skin. I was kind of a little bit nervous about burning my arm. One, two, three. But it really didn't hurt that much. It was a little bit of a sting. Ooh, last one was nippy. They were four dots that he put in. It was kind of like a little searing. Burning the skin is necessary to create basically an open gate for the combo to be absorbed into the body. Drink the water. a liter and a half to two liters. And while you're drinking this, I will be preparing the combo for you. So the water part was awful. Awful. Is a lot of water to drink within five minutes. It doesn't seem to be going down. No, I know. Drinking how much water I normally consume in one day in just a few minutes turned out to be very uncomfortable. Once they have gotten to the point of drinking the liter and a half to two liters. Is this good? and to the point where they think they're gonna purge just from the amount of water they drink, I will topically apply the combo. We turn it into almost like a wasabi ball and then it's applied topically where it's absorbed through the lymphatic and the blood system immediately. So once we were ready to go, he put the, you know, poison, frog poison onto the holes in my arm. Close your eyes and become as present as you've ever been with your body. I thought, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I would rather be doing anything else, especially when you're being filmed. And that's when the experience starts. Pretty much blitzes you with a bunch of discomfort. We saw that their heart rate increased within the first minute. I definitely feel like my head's filling up with blood. Very quickly, I started to feel out of sorts in so many different ways that it's hard to describe. I can feel my heart beating in my head. It's like you shrivel inside of your body and you're feeling the most intense pain in your stomach, in your head. Oh, I feel so sick. You wanna escape from your body, but you can't. All this like liquid goes to your face. Like literally it felt like my lips, my nose, and my eyes were like swollen out of my face. Similar to like a niacin flush, so their skin got really red. And then, you know, a few minutes in, I started purging, which the first time you purge, it actually feels like a little bit of a relief. I was aware of Katie because she was sick before I was. So it was like, you know, I was listening to her and kind of getting grossed up by the fact that she was puking next to me, which was making me even more sick. Should I try to throw up? But then once I actually started purging myself, I didn't know Katie existed. I was actually really glad to have her there, to have the camaraderie of someone going through it with you. I didn't care what I looked like. I didn't care what I sound like. I didn't care that anyone else was around. I was just like in that bucket. Combo is probably one of the most uncomfortable experiences you can have. The form of discomfort comes from so many different levels. Very extreme beyond anything else you can do. Almost the whole time, I just kept purging, kept purging. You know, I'd have a minute of calm and then have to purge again. Ugh. I was so sick and like literally puked from like the bottom of my guts. <clears throat> Combo detoxes by stimulating the lymphatic system to let things push through. It also activates your intestines, your gallbladder, your pancreas and liver to all release all the fluids inside. Imagine, you know, like 10 of the worst hangovers you've ever had, and then combine them into a span of 20 minutes. That intensity all together is what you feel. Am I done yet? Katie, she wanted to be done really fast. Uh, right at about the 12 minute mark, she was asking how much longer she had. I just had to surrender into it because there was no way you were not puking. It's almost like a meditative puking session. I honestly didn't expect it to be as intense as it was. Most people are like, yeah, I know you said it was extreme, but when you're in it, it doesn't matter who you are, like that's the worst thing ever. <sighs> you're right about 18 minutes, Katie. How are you feeling? I don't know, like I'd like to wrap it up. <sighs> so if you don't think you're gonna purge anymore, I can take it off. Yeah. Okay. You want it off? Okay. Yeah. Once it comes off, you should start to recalibrate fairly quickly. So everything's off. Can I lay down? When you are that nauseous, pretty much all you want to do is lay down. Okay, I guess I'll take it off too. 
This just takes a few seconds. So after I took the dots off, they were able to lay down and recalibrate and kind of come back to earth where the nausea goes away and the discomfort fades away fairly quickly. Two cats curled up on the side of the road. And then once you took the medicine off, it was like within one minute that you felt like you weren't gonna be sick anymore, but you felt like you had nothing left to give. Like I just remember kind of collapsing. I had nothing to say. I felt super wiped out. It was pretty out of commission. Your body has just stopped receiving new peptides. So within usually five, 10 minutes, you were back to normal. Well, I'm finally feeling better now. How was it? <sighs> when you said it was like a nine out of 10 in discomfort, I agree probably closer to a ton. In a weird way, I kind of loved it. It was like so gratifying to like see stuff come out of me that was not good. So let's go and see what we released and purged up here. My favorite part. After we had a little time to recover, he then looked at the contents of our buckets and he did a little analysis. So Lauren, we have what is very yellow and the yellow would be coming for like a complete liver release. I was fascinated by the fact that Todd could look at the vomit afterwards and tell me what I was purging. Going to like Eastern medicine, liver is what you're holding, like your hate, your anger, resentment. And it was so on point for everything I already know that I'm working on. My liver enzymes aren't great. I know that like my default feeling is anger, which comes from liver. And you do have some parasites in here, as you can see, like those brown strands. Oh man. You know, the average human has about two pounds of parasites just in your blood. So he looked at the contents of my bucket and he noticed that it was brownish. Yours is very interesting because of how dark it is. He did say he could see some candida in there. So you see what looks like scrambled eggs mm -hmm. <laughs> is, is, it's just a fungus. Everyone has candida. There's a difference of having an overgrowth or a balance, but it's just gonna remove it because that's part of what combo does. I would warn people that it's not glamorous. It's not sexy and it's not easy. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is the dragon's blood. It's just a homeopathic version of Neosporin. I would warn people that the combo experience is definitely not for the faint of heart. It felt so good to have that out of me. I really feel like I not only purged liver bile and parasites, but just emotions. Oh, I, I'm happy with that. I hope you are, but that was I am. awesome. I would do it again right now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're hardcore. I, I love results. You're a total maniac because I love anything that's gonna impact my health and energy and clarity, and that's exactly what it did. There are certain peptides that stimulate the adrenal cortex and the pituitary gland, which is gonna boost all your energy for long term. It was pretty wild just how energetic and clear I felt for weeks afterwards. After the ceremony, we checked again, both Katie and Lauren's blood glucose levels. It lowers, so it's very similar to like a workout, and this helps with the overall cortisol levels and keeping everything low for healthier overall longevity. We also had them wearing Apple watches to monitor their heart rate. Yeah, you can see the range. During the ceremony, the heart rate increased very significantly, similar to as if you went into an ice tank. The peptides from Combo create like a healthy stressor for our body. Once they get like a really good sleep, they're gonna wake up being like hot diggity dog, kind of like, wow. I'd heard that you know Peruvian warriors use combo to heighten their senses before battle the next day I definitely felt energized inspired and just really alive all that from a 20 minute throwing up ceremony I just felt so grateful and lucky that one I made it through but that I have the privilege to have access to this type of healing